I'm Lee Spencer, and I caught up with Stuart Friesen, and a great deal you have going on this weekend on the truck. Tell the fans just a little bit about how you got involved in autism awareness. Yeah, so uh, at a year and a half, our son Parker, he's, he's three now, uh, but at a year and a half, he had missed some uh, developmental milestones, was behind on his speech and stuff, and uh, saw a neurologist and was diagnosed on the autism spectrum. Uh, and her uh, prescription was, you know, uh, ABA therapy, you know, starting immediately. So uh, it was kind of crazy to try to get hooked up with the right people in the right places. Um, but we, you know, eventually landed with Crossroads Center for Children. They have some great therapists, uh, and it's done wonders for Parker as well as a ton of other kids that go there. So it's it's a great center. So with with April being Autism Awareness Month, my wife Jess had a great idea of, uh, you know, she got with Chris. Larson from Helmar, he said, yeah, cool, the truck's yours, do whatever you want with it. So we were able to break it up into puzzle pieces, auction and sell off the puzzle pieces uh, to a lot of great friends and family, sponsors, former car owners of mine came on board and we were able to, to come up with between the puzzle pieces and then selling t-shirts and stickers on HFR, raceforautism.com, which is going to remain open for, for donations and, and contributions. Um, we come up with $70,000, so it's been pretty pretty special. Um, you said that your son is now speaking in full sentences, and that wasn't something he did before the ABA therapy. Can you talk a little bit about that therapy and what kind of instigated the breakthrough? Uh, you know, just, just a, a great therapist. Miss Jessica from Crossroads used to come to our house, and it was an in-home deal. Now he's in the school and goes, you know, five days a week. Um, we take him out sometimes to go racing, obviously, but... Uh, it's been great. It started with a picture picture exchange system, um, and he would just not have temper tantrums, but just get really frustrated where, when he couldn't communicate things. And it wasn't like he didn't know that he wanted, but he couldn't communicate it. So with the picture book and just all his favorite things, his iPad, his 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 bottle, his t- favorite toys, you know, there was pictures in the book, and he could flip through and give them to us at you know before he even turned two, and that developed the speech developed, you know. Is, is key learning words and it's just been unbelievable the transformation of them since then and uh, by the time you know he hits kindergarten he'll be on the ground running and, um, it, it, and that's what Crossroads does they, they help either littler kids or families and everybody you know be integrated into their you know communities uh, and society and uh, and it's, it's just awesome what they've done for Parker and as well as you know tons of other kids. As far as your truck program goes, how would you evaluate what you all have been able to accomplish so far? You've been close. We're still kind of waiting on that breakthrough win. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Hopefully it can come, you know, today, this afternoon with, like I said, all our friends and family on board. So uh, we've had some speed all year. It's been tough. Kyle Busch has been showing us what's up, but um, it's all good. You know, I don't, it's just been a really cool experience for me racing against him and you know he's the best of the best so um it's been cool uh, second place to him was was awesome at texas and you know hopefully we can um build off that and and what we've learned you know through our notebook last year and then the the first five races of this year and, and keep going now what does the rest of your dirt schedule look like for the season oh it's going to be uh as aggressive as we can make it um we'll probably race upwards of 50 races i think we're at I don't even know, 10 or 12 now so far. We raced at Del Mar down here on, on Tuesday, and then we've been hanging out all week. So uh, we'll go back and run Fonda tomorrow and then Outlaw Speedway uh, for a Super Dirt Car Series event on Tuesday. It's been kind of rough with all the rain we've had this season. It's like every Friday night, man, and we're we're just kind of, you talk about frustration, and that's where a lot of our frustration's been. Yeah, absolutely. I, I feel bad for a lot of the promoters uh, in, uh, in you know the Northeast that, that are struggling getting rolling. You know, everybody's usually got three or four events under their belts by now and um you know albany saratoga on on fridays has been rained out you know i think three and three weeks in a row uh fonda's missed one and uh you know everybody else is feeling that pain so um get some cooperation from mother nature and <laughs> we'll start we'll start short track racing here appreciate your time today Stuart. yeah thanks so much lee